Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A very good morning to all and welcome back to English class. In the last class, we listened the first part of our story, that is a story of Mrs. Melody. What is the peculiarity of Mrs. Melody? Mrs. Melody has no friends, no children. Mrs. Melody has no children, no friends, no cat, do no dog, no parrot, no, not at all a pet. She lived alone in her house. He had no company with any other neighboring people. But she has one member in her home. Who was that? That is the mouse. He was also alone in that house. Mrs. Melody didn't like this mouse. That mouse lived uh, were under the sink. So one day Mrs. Melody spent the morning. Open your textbook. Take page number 55. Open your textbook. Take page number 55 and listen to my words, keeping your fingers under the lines. See, one day Mrs. Melody spent the morning dusting everything in the house. Afterwards, she washed the dusters and hung them out side by side to dry on the cloth line in the garden. Then she emptied out the soapy water but dropped the soap. When she bent to pick it up, she slipped and fell on the kitchen floor. Once again, listen my words. One day, Mrs. Melody spent the morning dusting everything in the house. Afterwards, she washed the dusters and hung them out side by side to dry on the clothes line in the garden. Then she emptied out the soapy water but dropped the soap. When she bent to pick, up, pick it up, she slipped and fell on the kitchen floor. I think you have pencil with you. Then underline the words spent, underline the word spent, dusting, dusters, hung, cloth line, emptied, dropped, bent, pick up, slip. Okay, then let's go through the story. One day, Mrs. Melody was dusting her uh, kitchen, uh, his household items. Dusting means dust, duster, you know. What is duster? Duster is used to rub the board. So, what is dusting? Dusting means todakkuga. Duster todakkunna saan. Okay. Uh, she was dusting the furniture, the items in the house. She washed everywhere, every rooms in the house. And after completion of washing and cleaning and dusting, she kept the dusters. What is dusters? Tudakkunna tunigal. Dusters. She kept the dusters on the cloth line in the garden. Cloth line, you know? What is cloth line? We tie cloth line. For what? For drying clothes. That cloth line. Cloth line. What is uh, uh, meaning of Malayalam? You can say cloth line. She kept 
the dusters on the cloth line for dry to dry that cloth dusters then she emptied she has a bucket for what for what was that bucket that bucket is was used to uh, wash the rooms with soap water and in the bucket there was soap water soapy water soapy water you know soapy water she emptied she emptied the soapy water in the to the courtyard but when she emptied the bucket the soap also went out dropped the soap in the courtyard then naturally she bent bent you know bent oh yeah bent she bent to pick up to pick up the soap from the courtyard then what happened she slipped slipped she slipped and fall back that's happened here okay next paragraph the mouse was scared to find mrs melody lying on the floor with her eyes shut she is lying on the floor she is lying on the floor she slipped and fall down on the floor she is lying on the floor listen to my words the mouse was scared to find mrs melody mrs melody lying on the floor with her eyes shut he ran around he ran round and round her he even tickled her chin with his sharp little nose but nothing would wake up her up wake her up the mouse was scared to find mrs melody lying on the floor with her eyes shut he ran round and round her he even tickled her chin with his sharp little nose but nothing would wake her up underline the word scared shut tickle chin wake up wake up okay the mouse was scared he frightened he feared when he saw mrs melody was lying on the floor shutting her eyes shutting her eyes he ran round and round her he even tickled her chin tickle tickle tickled her chin with his sharp little nose this nose tickle this is a tickle but nothing would wake her up she didn't wake up let's move when mrs melody did wake up when mrs melody did wake up she found she could not move after some time she woke up she got up she opened her eyes but she couldn't move she lied her moveless she cannot move she cannot get up just eyes opened then next page oh little mouse little mouse if only you were able to help me oh little mouse if you if only you were able to help me she said if you were a cat you could fetch the neighbors and if you were a dog you could bark and howl till somebody came if you were a parrot you could shout help help but i don't think a mouse can do anything at all oh but i really wish you could oh little mouse little mouse if only you were able to help me she said if you were a cat you could fetch the neighbors 
and if you were a dog you could bark and howl till somebody came if you were a parrot you could shout help help but i don't think a mouse can do anything at all but i really wish you could here she opened her eyes and telling the mouse oh mouse a oh, little mouse you are the only creature you are the only one who can help me but how i don't have any hope in you because you are not a dog if you were a dog you can bark bow 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 then people will come if you were a cat you can go to the other house and to fetch them here and if you were a parrot you can tell you can shout help 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 but as a mouse what can you do i don't have any expectation in you but i wish you could next the mouse did not want to let her down he ran out into the garden and looked around on the clothes line mrs melody's dusters were blowing in the wind the mouse did not want to let her down in the last paragraph you can underline the word uh, fetch bark howl shout okay in this paragraph you can underline let down let down blow blowing in the wind blow okay so mouse did it allow her to let her down angana thaale kadakkan ivula mouse anu aagrahichilla what did he do he ran out outside the house in the garden and he looked around what is there then he saw the dusters the clothes hanging on the cloth line in the garden the dusters are hanging in the cloth line in the garden then he got an idea an idea can change your life he got an idea what was the idea then the mouse had a great idea he ran up the post that held the line and began to nibble at the dusters he bit till the first duster looked like a big h then he attacked the next and nibbled it into an e the third duster became an l and the last a p then the mouse had a great idea he ran up the post that held the line and began to nibble at the dusters he bit till the first duster looked like a big h then he attacked the next and nibbled it into an e the third duster became an l and the last a p okay what what happened here he got an idea when she when he saw that clothes he ran up the post the post the pillar that held in the line and began to nibble at the dusters nibble you know nibbling of the mouse he nibbled the dusters he bit he bit bite bit till the first duster looked like h the cloth the duster is there he began to nibble uh, nibble and after nibbling after biting uh, it became the picture of h you can see in the picture h a big h look into the picture you can see that and the next duster he also nibbled 
and it became e and next cloth next next duster he made l there and last duster he made p so what can we read that help h e l p and it began to move here and there blowing the wind blowing in the wind come help hang on the line waving in the wind the mouse had proved smarter than a cat here a cat can do this no a dog can do this no but this mouse proved that i am the mouse is smarter than a cat or a dog or even a parrot then the next door the neighbor the next door neighbor she saw these letters h e l p so she thought something some problem is there for mrs melody so help 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 we can see help moving here and there see the next door neighbor saw it from her window something is wrong at mrs melody she shouted that lady shouted something happened for mrs melody go go fast and they save her she shouted then in a minute everybody was running to mrs melody's house every people from uh, around the neighbors were going fast running running fast to the mrs melody's house the mouse went back under near the sink then what happened everybody came to the mrs melody's house the mouse hide under the sink the mouse went back underneath the sink soon the doctor arrived ambulance arrived mrs melody was taken to the hospital ambulance came and she was taken to the hospital mrs melody had broken her leg everyone was kind to her and the neighbors brought her sweets and fruits and flowers now she was in now she is in the hospital her neighbors came to the hospital with the fruits flowers sweets what happened to her her leg was broken mrs melody began to smile when she saw that them coming and she also smiled at the nurses and doctors and even at other patients she became quite a popular old lady in the ward here we saw this mrs melody in the first of this story she will not laugh she will not smile she was very uh, rash not flexible rash she was not flexible she will not smile to anybody she has no company with anybody she was alone but now she began to smile smile to everybody is her her neighbors nurses doctors even uh, the neighbor patients nearby patients she began to smile she became very happy and she became popular famous in the ward in the hospital ward in the room but somebody says what we cannot understand is how you ever hang the message on the clothes line when your leg was broken that lady that neighboring lady asked i am thinking about how you hang that h e l p help dusters on the cloth line your leg was broken and you couldn't uh, move you couldn't even move then how how could you hang these dusters this help board then uh, and, and she said if we had not seen it if we had not seen it you might be lying there now 
If we had not seen it, you might be lying there now. Meaning, ah, adu kandilla irundu engil. Ippadu ni avada kadakku ma irundu. How could you hang these lines? She didn't know that. She didn't know that because the mouse did that. What message? Mrs. Melody asked, what message? What are you talking about? They brought her the dusters and laid them out on her bed. Help. Then somebody brought that dusters, that cloths, H-E-L-P, to the hospital bed. And it laid on the, laid on the uh, bed, H-E-L-P. She read, help. Then she told, I believe it was my mouse. I believed it was my mouse. She, he, he did that. He did that, I know. Then, when, then Mrs. Melody came home, people came visiting the house. Then Mrs. Melody came home, people came visiting the house. Mrs. Melody introduced all of them to the mouse. After getting uh, relaxed, she came to the house. Then the neighboring people came to her house. Then she introduced, this is my mouse who helped me. Who did that board? Who who made that board help board? And he saved my life. He felt a little shy now. Now the mouse felt a little shy because it he was alone till now. But now so many people are around him, and uh, Mrs. Melody is introducing him. Now she felt he felt shy shyness. He felt a little shy now. There was, much, there was so much unexpected attention. Till now, nobody noticed him. Even Mrs. Melody no, didn't notice him. But everybody is looking to him. Everybody is uh, lo uh, looking to him. But when the visitors had gone away and only he and Mrs. Melody were sitting together in the kitchen, he crept out from under the sink he was on cloud nine when he heard her telling him that he was the cleverest mouse in the world and she meant to keep the dusters forever to prove it. And after some time, everybody went back. Mrs. Melody and mouse, only Mrs. Melody and mouse in the house. Then he crept out from under the sink. He came out from uh, under the sink. He was on cloud time. The he was on cloud nine. What is cloud nine? Cloud nine means uh, very happy. It's a usage. Cloud nine. He was on cloud nine when he heard her telling him that he was the cleverest mouse in the world. Mrs. Melody and the people told that you are the cleverest mouse in the world. So he became happy and she meant to keep the dusters forever to prove it. Mrs. Melody kept that dusters in, your, in her almira or in shelf for what? For a remembrance. Eh? Uh, for remember every time forever. Okay, that's all. Very interesting, very interesting story of a mouse, a clever mouse and Mrs. Melody. So, that's all today's story class and you must read, you must read these paragraphs, this story at least three times and uh, pick up the words which you underlined first time and uh, uh, from other paragraphs. New words and write into your notebook with meaning. Okay, then after that, inshallah, I will come in your WhatsApp for more activities related to this chapter. Okay, bye-bye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.